Hello there guys and welcome once again. This is Tony and today we finally have the full review for the uh, most anticipated one of a kind 2K HD 1440p by uh, what is it? 2560 or 2560 by 1440 I think that's the resolution. Um, great battery life, awesome body design, the one and only LG G3 and this is the T-Mobile version this retails for about $598 on T-Mobile $598 or about $24, $25 per month if you get it in a special plan and you can uh, get it from all the major carriers nowadays there is variables around the continents different colors and stuff like that so it, mo it all might differ it all might be different based on what you get different colors you know different processors and stuff but let's get to the review and uh, let's get this party started this comes in a very s slim body design just right to fit in your hand it fits perfectly the round the shape in the back is just the right way to do it very high quality grade made I believe once you take the battery and put it inside it gives a little bit a little bit more weight without it it just feels very slim you know you you start thinking it's very cheap once you start using it for a little bit you start you know you start uh, discovering the major quality build designs and stuff like the speaker the camera and stuff like that we'll get we'll get to all that stuff it even comes with a IR blaster like most smartphones nowadays are coming so that's pretty handy and most is that if you have a phone that's an LG and you have an LG TV it's, it's more than likely compatible even if you have a Samsung and LG but I'm just saying it'll be more chances of it working with your TV than you know putting an LG with a Samsung or LG with a Vizi or something like that not not to talk about TVs but just a, just an example it comes in different colors depending on where you live and what carrier you have right now in the United States we have black I believe don't get me wrong I, I don't go and look at every, every other uh, carriers colors but from what I know is that T-Mobile has the white silk version and the black one or gray I believe color they're all brush looking brush metal on the back but the black or gray color is looks like brush metal um, AT&T has the same I believe with the exception no they also have the same and uh, I believe Sprint is the one that has the exclusivity for I don't know how long with the gold version so they will have the gold version there is supposed to be other colors I don't know if it's here in the United States that they have it but there's also purple and other such colors that uh, LG came out with but you know in the United States sometimes they limit that to what they want and we get stuck with what they offer us so it all depends where you live and what carrier you have and I went ahead and chose the uh, T-Mobile Silk White version because I was with the Galaxy Note 3 before as you remember and that was the black one or blue as you could call it dark navy color and uh, I wanted something brighter back again so I went ahead and chose this I like the chrome button and stuff the silver gray uh, band around here so that really you know pull my strings to get this phone plus I like this screen with the LG at the bottom the brand in white overall it was just an iPopping device for my kind of style and I said I want that one so the screen is amazing and it's stretched out to provide very slim bezels and amazing output from the video that it provides at 1440p or like we geeks like to call it 2k HD halfway to 4k I will tell you right now that at first when I started watching YouTube you know it seemed like every other phone the reason is that YouTube mobile app for some reason I guess because this is the first phone to have the 2k HD screen it only limits you to, 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 to 1080p streaming on YouTube or any kind of a video from any site unless you go on the website itself mobile um, m.youtube.com and then go on the little gear to change to 1440 but even then you know you are still trying to figure out if it's actually streaming at 4k or if it's actually 
streaming at 1080p. But the best way to get to know if you're really streaming at 1080 at 1440 is to get a 1440 video and pop it in to your memory card and or onto the device and you'll see the amazing quality of those videos and the amazing power of this little screen right here. It's eye popping, I tell you. Eye popping. The CPU is running is the uh, Snapdragon 801. Unlike the unreleased Prime, we don't get the 805, which is supposedly uh, getting better life. But some people are saying that the modem is not incorporated into the processor. So if you think about it, there might be a trade off because if they put an extra, uh, extra component in the motherboard then we might just be seeing around the same battery life it, it's no uh it's better here or there i'm not trying to start uh argument comment war or whatever it's just what i think so i would think it would turn out about the same battery maybe maybe not we don't know i don't have it if you have it then you know more than me comes with the Adreno 330 GPU ready to massively help you watch the amazing stuff on the awesome 2K dev screen. With an amazing graphics card or graphic driver, because obviously I don't know if it's a card in there, you know, like my computer has big cards. But uh, that helps it a lot, you know, it helps the uh, take some uh, stress off the CPU to be able to provide the amazing quality that it does give us thanks to LG and their uh, graphics card and the uh, processor many apps right now are only you know made for 1080p or lower due to the fact that this is the first phone here in America with this high def screen so most of the time some apps will look a little pixelated or you will look very close to the phone and you won't see what you want to see or you won't you will see what you don't want to see but there is one app specifically that I've been trying and I could tell you that I did not think it was going to happen, but it's updated, I believe, for 2K HD screens because it was just recently released. I don't know if it was last week or a few weeks ago. O3 was able to, but I'm pretty much more recording in 4K with this since it has the 2K screen. You were able to take advantage of these extra details that the video is giving you. I do like how you can tap the laser focus and it will instantly take the picture. They give the option to say a phrase and the phone will automatically take the picture with no tap needed. Like for instance saying cheese or uh, anything, one of the phrases I have not checked but I said cheese and it will take your picture like that. No video, uh, now the video is uh, recording as another subject on this phone. Able to record up to pre uh, 4K is pretty cool, 1080p, 720p, even slow motion in 720p. I have not tried slow motion yet. I'm not really into that. As long as I got the GoPro, I could go ahead and use that. But it's pretty, it's pretty cool if you have it on hand. You know, you don't have your GoPro or a special camera. You just go ahead and pop out your phone and say, let's do some slow motion recording. And then that, that's, a, that's pretty awesome. Lots of detail and very 3D-ish without glasses needed when you're watching 1440p video on this phone. So you'll be watching this and the details are so popping that you are thinking you're watching it in 3D because of the high quality that it provides. You get the LG Signature Knock Lock, which is this. Let me see if I can get it to work for you guys. There we go. Knock Lock. You can make your own on the settings, your own uh, tap pattern. You do get a password just in case you do forget, so that's a backup. And the knockoff tap feature, which you knock off on the status and it turns off. Allowing you to make a unique tap on your phone to unlock it and tapping the status bar twice to turn the phone off, making it easier, but never ever touching the power button. The volume buttons and power are on the back, so no buttons, are, no buttons on the sides anywhere. It only takes a few minutes to get used to this format and much safer from accidentally pressing this while it's in your pocket. And uh, overall, I think this phone is pretty awesome. Even though many flagships are coming, I think this is the right one for me. I really do. This is just one of the best phones I think this has came out for my likings. I think this is uh, the best phone if you want to go out and buy a new one right now. And I would recommend for anyone looking for something new. 
but there is always so many to choose from if this doesn't float your boat. So there you have it. Is this the phone to have in 2014? You tell me, because this for me is the phone I will have. This is Tony once again, guys. Thanks for watching, and always remember to share and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, because more videos are coming your way. Thanks for watching, guys. It's so true. Oh my god, second time, second time. It's almost done, guys. Almost done.